it's Brittany and today's video I'm so happy to finally get around to filming this part for this video because okay you guys so this video is all about the Saks Bridge or also known as the Saks Covered Bridge in Gettysburg Pennsylvania so the last time I was in Gettysburg was last year so November 2016 so not that long ago but it feels like forever ago I can't believe it and I just, I can't believe that I'm just uploading this now. <laughs> so anyways, the Saks Covered Bridge is supposed to be one of the most haunted bridges in the world. But then again, they say that about every haunted location out there. I mean, of course, I do believe that this bridge is probably one of the most haunted bridges in the world because there's so much history and there's just been so many sightings, so many weird things have happened at this bridge. So I will get into my experience in a little bit, but before, like, I'll just give you guys some history and stuff. So this bridge was built around 1854 at a cost of $1,544. Both Union and Confederate soldiers crossed this bridge during the Battle of Gettysburg. And it is rumored that this bridge is haunted by three Confederate soldiers. There are two stories that kind of go with the Confederate soldiers. Nobody knows what the right story is, but there's two stories. The first one is that three of the Confederate soldiers, they deserted their unit and they were caught. And then eventually, or right then, they were then hung. Hanged or hung? I can never get that right like it both words sound correct to me some people say hanged some people say hung they were hung they were hanged like it's just always been this thing with me but like it means the same thing like you guys know that the other story is that the three confederate soldiers they were convicted of being spies and then they were hanged from the beams in the bridge so the first time that i heard about the sax covered bridge was the first time that i went to gettysburg but i heard about it kind of the last day that I was there so I didn't have time to go visit so I was like okay next time I'm here I have to go to that bridge so I didn't know where the bridge was it was very hard to find so I went to the Welcome Center the Gettysburg Welcome Center I spoke to the man there I asked him where the bridge was the first thing he said to me was are you a ghost person <laughs> so at first I was like oh does he watch my channel or something <laughs> but no he didn't but um, so yeah he's like are you a ghost person and I said yeah and he's like are you planning to go here at night and i was like yeah, i didn't know if i should say yes i didn't know there's gonna be a bunch of guards behind him that were gonna arrest me or something so i was just like possibly <laughs> and he was saying that unfortunately you can't go at night because police guard the area because there's been all this trouble happening at nighttime in that bridge so it just sucks how bad people always have to ruin things for the good people so I was kind of annoyed by that because I had this whole plan of going there doing a spirit box session at nighttime because I didn't think anybody was gonna be there so I was like okay well maybe I can do it during the daytime maybe nobody will be there hopefully I will catch something because you know you always feel like you're gonna catch more at nighttime but honestly it really doesn't matter I think nighttime just really sets the mood and makes it really spooky or if you want to go at 3 in the morning, which is dead time, and it's like the strongest hour. So when I arrived, you know, it was kind of cold. It Well, not really. Like, it was kind of cold outside. It was because it was windy and it was raining, so that's kind of what made it cold. But I arrived, and there were so many people inside the bridge, outside of the bridge, taking pictures. So it's definitely a very popular tourist attraction. So I was like, oh, snap. Like, there's no way I can do a spirit box session. And you just can't when there's people around because like I always wanted to be quiet and you know I can't block off the bridge like I can't block off the parking lot being like you guys can't come here like this is my bridge for the next five hours or something you know what I mean I can't do that so I was like okay I guess I'll just film some shots and stuff so the shots that I've been showing in this video were very lucky for me to film because nobody was in the shot and you know I don't like getting people in the shot because you know you're not really supposed to film people and it just kind of ruins the mood you know what I mean so the shots that I did film I was very lucky to film I was very upset that I couldn't film a spirit box session though because there were so many people there and you needed to be quiet you know what I mean and I just you know so that was one thing that sucked but <laughs> So I guess you guys want to know, did I experience anything? So on my way to the bridge, I was so excited. I was like, you know, so many people feel cold spots. People have seen 
full-bodied apparitions, people have heard voices, I've watched some videos, people have caught some really creepy EVPs, there was one of a little girl, like a woman said, I'm gonna leave or something, like an actual physical in this life, like in this world woman, she was there at the bridge and she, she said she was gonna leave or something, and all of a sudden on her EVP, you hear a little girl say, don't, and it was, it was so creepy and they replayed it, I was like, oh my god, that's so scary. So. The main ghosts are supposedly the three confederate soldiers and there's been a lot of, you know, apparitions like I said, a lot of mists, a lot of people have caught things on, like when they take a picture, there was this one picture I saw of this woman, there was this huge white mist behind her, they did not see that when they were taking the picture, so that was, that was really creepy. And oh, I wanted to say too. When I was talking to the man at the Welcome Center, he told me that, because I was asking him, I was like, have you ever been to the bridge? He's been there. And I said, have you experienced anything? And he told me it's very eerie and it's creepy in there. So I was like, yeah, like I bet, because you know, it is, it was actually creepy being in there, but I'll get into like my experience after. So he told me that it could be like 150 degrees outside, but you could walk into that bridge and it's freezing like you it feels like winter inside that bridge when it's like a nice hot summer day 130 degrees 150 degrees outside you know what i mean so when he told me that i got chills so i was expecting to walk into this bridge and just be freezing even though it was slightly cold outside unfortunately though guys i didn't feel anything you guys know me i'm all about being honest on my channel. So when I was on the outside of the bridge, like the opening, I was like, yes, I'm gonna walk in, it's gonna be freezing, I can't wait. So I walked in, I wasn't cold, I didn't really feel, I didn't feel anything, I didn't feel like I was being watched, like some people, you know how some people get that feeling that, they, that they're being watched or, you know, I, I just didn't feel anything. It was really eerie, just kind of knowing what happened there and knowing a lot of people's experiences because I was reading all about it this time like before I even went to the bridge because I was planning like I had to make a video there because like I said at the be like earlier on in this video that I heard about this bridge the first time I was in Gettysburg so I think sometimes since it's my passion like you guys know me like I live for the paranormal it's my life it's just it's what I live for and I feel like I just kind of look too hard sometimes and I just can't see anything because like I know so many people in my life who have seen something in their adult life and they can't explain it and they have all these experiences and I'm just sitting here like well I'm the ghost person and you know I have successful spirit box sessions and I truly believe that that is solid evidence right there. I can't confirm it's paranormal, but I 100% believe it is, but it's obviously not confirmed, but it's what I believe and it's up to you whether you think it is or not. And you know, I just, I wish I could just see something. So sometimes I get very frustrated because I, I'm all about evidence and I want to discover, like I want to say something so badly but I just don't know if I, I wish I was a psychic <laughs> I wish I was a medium so I was disappointed that I just felt absolutely nothing but it was very creepy it was so cool you know I was there for like 45 minutes just you know exploring trying to find a ghost but you know and I was looking back on my footage as well this footage that I filmed and I found nothing I took pictures as well and I don't know if I'm gonna put this put them in this video because there was nothing in the pictures but like I said a lot of people have gone to this bridge and have experienced something and I guess some people are just a lot more sensitive you know it is a really creepy bridge I think it would be a totally different well obviously a totally different atmosphere during the night because it is so dark there are no lights around there so really you just have to use the light on your phone or of course a flashlight but it is it's probably pitch black at nighttime so it upset me that I couldn't go at night because the police are watching the area so maybe next time I go I can maybe talk to the police and just be like I'm a good person I'm just trying to do a spirit box session here like you can even be with me if you want <laughs> but anyways guys I hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching as always you rock my world and the song lyrics of Michael Jackson hashtag team pretty 44 hashtag Barilla Reds hey and I will see you guys in my next video bye